Hello, in this video, we are going to see about how to add MySQL database to Workbench. First, log into the AWS Management Console with your credentials. Now, open the Amazon RDS Console. Once you entered into your RDS Management Console, there, click on DB Instances. Database 1 is the test DB which I created here. Once you click on that, here you will see all the information about the DB. Now, opening my SQL Workbench. For some reason, it is not opening. Let me try close and reopen the MySQL Workbench in my local machine. Opening the Workbench now. Here, I'm going to click on the plus next to MySQL connection. To add the new database, now I'm going to enter the name as test. This given name is just for identification. Next, to get the host name we need to use the endpoint under connectivity and security. We are not changing default port number for MySQL. Next is username and password. I've kept the credentials in text editor to show. Once done with the credentials part, Click on Test Connection. It will take some time to test the connection. Here now, we got failed to connect error. We need to check whether the DB is publicly accessible in the security group. Going back to the DB information to check if it is publicly accessible. It is no. So going to modify the DB. Click on modify. We need to check for the connectivity options. Under that click on additional configurations. There change it to publicly accessible. Now, scroll down to bottom and click on continue. Here, go with the option apply immediately and click on modify DB instance. Click on the DB which we modified now. It is not yet changed to publicly accessible. So, I'm going to keep trying refreshing the page. It is taking some time. So I just keep on trying. It is changed to publicly accessible now. Coming back to MySQL Workbench and trying to do test connection again. Again, it prompted with the error.
Now, I'm going to the security group to add my public IP. So that, my IP alone can able to access to the DB. Click on EC2, here click on the security group which we assigned or DB. Double check the VPC. In this page, we need to edit both inbound and outbound rules. Clicking on Edit Outbound Rules. Now, click on Add Rule. Under the Tags drop-down, look for MySQL slash Aura. And now, here we need to add our local machine public IP address. Open New Tab, and type what is my IP in the URL bar. You will get your public IP. Copy that and paste it. In description, I'm just giving as my IP, and, save rules. We have added two outbound rules. Same process will be repeated for inbound rules too. Now, we have added local machine public IP to both inbound and outbound rules. Coming back to MySQL Workbench and giving the credentials. Now, click on Test Connection. We get prompt saying, Successfully made MySQL connection. Now, click OK and click on Test DB, which we created. The database is successfully connected to MySQL Workbench.